pork. Is it safe to include in your dog, cat, or ferret's raw meal? When it comes to raw animal meat, pork is the number one animal that people ask me about and fear that it's unsafe. Some of the concerns over feeding pork are totally understandable depending on the circumstance. However, some of the fears I see are often misguided. First of all, if there are risks to feeding pork, why even feed it? Pork is actually quite unique with the nutrients that it provides, as it's particularly rich in the B vitamin thiamine, which plays an essential role in various bodily functions. A deficiency can be detrimental if it's lacking in the diet and can lead to GI issues, neurological symptoms, and heart problems. Pork also contains all essential amino acids, B vitamins, and minerals like zinc, selenium, and iron. A pasture-raised hog also contains a higher amount of vitamin D in their fat, which is a vitamin that tends to be lacking in the raw diet, as our pets aren't able to synthesize it from the sunlight like humans can. Raw fat is very beneficial to carnivores and is their main source of energy. So if you have a raw meal with lean meats, pork is a great meat to add into it. If your pet is susceptible to pink it would be better to feed leaner cuts in this instance. Now, let's talk about the scary stuff. There are a few main reasons people warn against feeding raw pork. One of them being trichinella. Trichinella spiralis is a parasite commonly found in certain carnivorous animal meats as well as omnivorous animals like domestic pigs and wild boar. Pets affected by trichinella can experience diarrhea, muscle stiffness, and inflammation. Luckily for owners in the US, Canada, and Europe, infection is mainly, if not exclusively, found in wild boar when it comes to swine. The number of cases in domestic pigs has gone down significantly after stricter guidelines were placed over production in these countries, which includes more control over their diet. To prevent trichinosis in your raw-fed pet, if you're in these regions, only purchase pork designated for human consumption. Pork from grocery stores is often sourced from larger facilities that have safeguards in place that prevent parasitic contamination. But if you're sourcing from a more local, smaller producer, ensure that they follow these safety precautions as well. Trichinella is unfortunately freeze resistant, so when it comes to wild boar, I always just suggest not to feed it as they also may carry the next virus that I'm about to go over as well. This viral disease is called pseudorabies or Ojeski's disease, which exists throughout many parts of the world. Pigs are the most common animal affected by this virus, but it can infect many other mammals such as dogs and cats. Wild swine in particular are at a greater risk of infection due to lack of control and inspection. Pseudorabies is freeze resistant, so feeding raw meat that contains this virus can be very dangerous and is 100% fatal in pets. Pseudorabies can only be destroyed by being cooked above 160 degrees Fahrenheit. This sounds a bit scary, but is this something that you have to worry about in commercially raised pigs? In countries like Canada, New Zealand, and many European countries, this virus has been completely eradicated in commercially raised swine. And in the United States, according to the USDA, all 50 states are considered free of pseudorabies in commercially raised swine herds as well. In addition to trichinella and pseudorabies, the use of antibiotics in commercial pork has become an increasing concern as they pose a risk of causing antibiotic resistance in the species eating it. Fortunately though, there are some new guidelines being set in place to decrease antibiotic abuse in swine in both the US and Europe. These new laws enforce more antibiotic control by a veterinarian. So, is grocery store pork still okay to feed? Yes, but just keep in mind that a small trace of antibiotics may or may not be present. Regardless of what country you live in, if you're concerned about antibiotic use in meat, there are antibiotic-free and organic options available. I personally still buy grocery store pork pretty often. So, in terms of the general safety of feeding pork, if your country has safeguards in place for pork raised for human consumption, then it's safe to feed to your pet as well. However, if you live outside of these countries, you will need to check with your local public food health service to see how your local pork is raised, handled, and if it's been tested and confirmed negative for trichinella and pseudorabies. There are certainly other foods that should be avoided when shopping. Watch this video to find out more.